Welcome everyone to today's In Yoga class. So we're gonna go into a nice sequence to relax and simply open the body and uh, activate our relaxation response. Uh, so take everything that you need to be comfortable to enjoy each pose because we're gonna hold each pose for about three minutes. And um, if you have never done any yoga before, so just know that you don't have to go deep into the stretch. We are going to hold the poses and so stay about at about 60% of your full capacity in each pose. Right? So let's start lying down. And if you have your, yeah, if you need a cushion underneath your head, you can take it. Otherwise, simply lie down with your feet as wide as your mat. And rest your knees against each other. And you can rest your hands on top of your knees. So your feet as, as wide as your mat. And simply lie down here. And take a moment to tune the attention inwards. Soften your whole body. Let the body sink into the floor. Slow down here. Whatever has happened today, whatever you have been doing today before the class, see if you can shift, transition in. Let go of everything that happened and slowly enter into your practice. Bringing your full attention in this room, in this moment. Noticing how you're feeling today in your body. This if there's any areas of your body where you would like to release, to open. Take your time as well to set your intention for today. See if there's something that can serve you right now, something that is relevant for you. Use each exhale to release your body deeper. See if you can make your, your exhalation a little bit longer than your inhalation.
And then slowly release your hands, roll onto your side body, and you're gonna come back to sit. Good. And we're gonna start with a straddle. So you're gonna open your legs wide apart. And here you may have your cushion. We're gonna fall forward. So if you if this is the further you can go, just stay here. Maybe you cannot, maybe you want to stay on your hands. It doesn't matter here. Find the place where you can relax your lower back. Relax your shoulders and your neck. So you will feel some stretch in the back of your legs. You don't have to flex your feet like we do usually in a hatha class. You can let your feet so soft and use any props that you need. And maybe your forearms can rest down. And we're gonna stay here for three minutes. So we want to work on the deep tissues of the body here, the fascia, the connective tissue. And so we're not working on the muscles. So that's why it's ideal to practice in yoga when the body is cold. And then we can directly go into the fascia. To bring back more elasticity, resilience in the tissues. Relax your head here. Soften your breath. And simply be in the pose without trying to do anything here. There's nothing to achieve. You're just being very passive and let your torso, your chest go down. You can visualize the tissue at the back of your legs, in the inner thighs, the lower back and the upper back softening nice smooth breath Try to relax as much as you can into the pose. Use your breath to relax deeper your exhalation. And you, if that helps you to keep the mind still, you can count in your mind your breath. Using the breath as your light your guide for the practice. It could be four counts for the inhale and six counts for the exhale. See what works for you. Then slowly you're going to walk your hands back towards you, coming back. You can check your legs slightly. Now we're going to go to the right, we're going to fold over the right leg. So actually you're going to bend the left knee here. Place the left foot inside the right thigh. And again, you're going to fold over the right leg 
Use a cushion if you want to support your torso, your head, whatever is cozy for you. And just relax into the pose for three minutes. Let your right foot be soft and loose. Let your chest melt down towards the time. Try to stay as an observer of your own body and of your mind. Observing the content, the nature of your mind, as if you are watching a movie, noticing what's happening there. Watching the thoughts, the flow of the thoughts, if there are any. And remember that you can always use your breath to anchor your mind. Visualize in your head, your mind, the tissues slowly opening, releasing at the back of your leg and along your spine and the left side of your spine. So with the left side of your body, the ribs, And then slowly you can come back. Bring your torso upright. And slowly come back. Release the leg. So you can bring the legs forward. Shake your legs. Great. We're gonna do the other side. So open the left leg, bring the right foot inside the left arm. And then exhale, fold over the left leg without much effort. Every pose should be sort of effortless. So of course you want to feel something, so it should feel, but not something too intense. And the breath should be natural. So you're not straining the breath. The breath is flowing really in the body.
Keep observing your breath. Observing the flow of your thoughts. Can you steal your mind as much as you are stealing your body right now? And notice when you don't move, when you don't do what's happening. There's a tendency of the mind to always want to rush. So see if you're, when you're stealing your body, if that helps you in any way, or if that makes things even harder for you. A few more breaths. Good, and then slowly, slowly come back. Bring yourself back. Good. Release your legs. So simply keep your feet as wide as your mat. Bring your hands back. Then drop your knees to the right. Back to the center. To the left. Back to the center. The windshield wiggles to the right. And come back. Okay, now you're going to join the sole of the feet together. We're going into the butterfly. And again, if you need your cushion, so the feet can be, you choosing the distance of your feet compared to your sitting bones. It doesn't have to be a, a big stretch. So the further away from you, the easier it will be. And if you need your cushion, maybe you can be here. Maybe you can be all the way down. Maybe your head is touching your feet. Wherever. Be in a place where you can let go and enjoy the pose. Three minutes here. That's the flight. Soften the whole spine here. Let you know, the tissue around your spines release. The back of your neck as well. So all those poses, the forward fold poses, have a very um, anti-anxiety effect. They help us to calm down, to downregulate on our nervous system to activate the parasympathetic system, the rest and digest response. Stay focused on your breath. Use your breath almost like an internal massage. Listen to the sound of your breath as a mantra. 
that keeps you present in this moment. And then slowly, slowly come out of the pose. Use your hands to press yourself back. Bring your legs forward. And you can point and flex here on the ankle, your feet. Circle the ankle. Change direction. All right. Okay, next pose, we're going into a dragon pose. So you're gonna come here into your old pose. So if you have sensitive knees, you can take a cushion underneath your knee. And we're gonna bring the left foot forward. So it's the lunge, basically, the low lunge. And we're gonna stay here for three minutes. So if you have difficulty to have your hands on the ground, you can take two blocks or two big books, place them here underneath to help you to stay on that pose. You can release the toe or tuck your toes, whatever. And here, just relax your shoulders, your neck. Let your right hips go down. Yeah, make any adjustment that is needed here to sustain the pose. Bring your awareness around your right hips, flexing. We are as well stretching the psoas muscle. The right quadricep. So this pose can be very challenging to hold for three minutes, so. You try to breathe deeply through the pose, through your hip, and to just be here in the now. Let go of the need or the wants to finish, to go out of the pose. Smooth and steady breath. Use your exhale to release. Few more breaths here. Good, and then slowly, slowly, we're gonna bring the left leg back, coming to all fours. 
And here we're going to press into the downward facing dog. Just to release a bit. Lift your hips, press into the hands. Take two deep breaths. With an exhale, drop your knees down. Now you're going to bring again this left foot forward into this pigeon pose that you do, we do usually. So it's called swan pose. So you have your, oh, yes, your foot here. And if you need a cushion, you can place it under the left arm, the left um, sitting boat here. Oh, if you have a big one, you can place it under both hips here. So this is called swan pose in the in yoga. So if you have a big cushion, it can be good to support your both hips. Try so you will have a tendency to collapse to the left to the left side. So try to bring the wave back to the center. To have both hips on the center. Right. And if you don't need any props, of course, you can be here. Just take a couple of breaths here. Try to relax. If you need the cushion, of course, take the cushions here in whatever way can support you. And then, Maybe you still need your cushion, we're going into sleeping swan. So you're gonna bring maybe your forearms down on the floor. If this is your age, you're staying here. If that's already too intense, come back on your hands here. If you feel that you can go even deeper, you can release your chest all the way down. Maybe you will have the cushion here to support your chest. Let's see, whatever is naive for you, sustainable and comfortable. Relax here to that pose. And then slowly, slowly, you're gonna bring the hands back on the floor to help you. And you're gonna simply press into your hands, bring the left leg back into your all fours. Come on your hands and your knees. And you're gonna simply roll your hips. Change direction. All right, we're going to do the other side. So bring the right foot between your hands. 
And again, if you have sensitive knee, you can place the cushion under the left knee. We're going for the dragon pose, low lunge. We're staying here again. If you need any support underneath your hands, take your blocks, take any books, anything that can support you. And again, staying here for three minutes. And try to relax the neck, the shoulders. Let your right hips melt down, softening and opening. The left quadriceps as well. Keep observing your breath. Good, and then slowly, then I draw the legs back. And you can press into your downward facing dog. And we're going to the swan pose, pigeon pose. So drop your knees and you're going to bring your right foot forward. And use your cushion if you need to support the right hip or maybe both hips. Or maybe you want the cushion to support your arms or your chest. So first we stay here, swan, like a swan. Just a couple of breaths. And you can choose to have your hands further forward if you need. Yes. And then you can go all the way down, either you stay on your hands, either you come on your forearm, either you fall, you can make a pillow with the hands and simply rest your head on top of your hand.
just a few more breaths here. Observe the flow of your thoughts. Stay here, present. Notice any sensation that is arising in the body, good or bad. Just observe. Then slowly press yourself back. Take your time to come out of the pose and to bring the knee, the right knee back. Come into your old thoughts. And you're gonna swing your hips side to side. Need to bring them right and left. And we're going to move a little bit more the spine with the cat cat. So inhale, arch your spine, open your throat, and exhale, round your spine, bring your belly in. Inhale, arch your spine. And exhale, round your spine. Two more. Inhale, arch, open. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest. Exhale, hug your belly, round your spine. Good. Come back now. Come on your forearms. Release your legs back. Come to lie down on your belly. We're going into Sphinx pose. So your forearms underneath your shoulders. You can open your feet as much as you need. And your hands can be about shoulder distance apart. Sphinx pose. Good. So here, if you need any support for your head, maybe you want to drop your head on the cushion. Feel free. Stay in here for three minutes. Release the lower back. Release your, release your neck here. Don't hold tension in the neck. Stay there for one more minute. See how you can relax deeply into the pose. Even though it's challenging for you, maybe. See how you can use your breath to bring yourself into a stillness.
and then slowly, you're slowly going to press yourself back and you're going to come to sit in between your feet. So you're sitting on your heels here. If this is another, not available to you, you can take cushion underneath the hips, the buttocks. So you're not sitting on your heels, you're sitting between your heels. And if you need two cushions, maybe you can be here. So, actually, sorry, I should have told you before to come to the top of your mat so that you have space behind you. Because we come in, so we're going to be here. And we're going to come with the hands behind. So if this one is your maximum, stay here. Maybe you cannot, maybe you, you will need to be here with a cushion. So first is to be either here, first option. And then second is to place the hand behind you. Another option is to keep, to place your forearms down. And maybe you can go all the way down, take your cushion and place your, support your back and go all the way down here. And try not to play on your parts, keep your knees together. And relax here. So remember that we want to stay here for three minutes. So if that feels too intense for you, you want to go back to the previous option. Okay, at not, not at any point you should feel any pressure, any pain in the lower back or in your knees. Once you find what works for you, the best variation of the pose, according to your own body, your own needs, you can stay there still for three minutes. Feel a nice opening across your quad muscle. It's a great pose as well for your knees. It's also, it can be pretty intense for your ankles. So another option is to place some towel underneath the ankle to lessen the stretch there. So it's a mild back bend and it's a chest opening pose. So we are opening the heart center. Feel your breath through the heart center. The shoulders are dropping down. Few more deep breaths. Breathe deeply. Try to not to react to the pose. Just accept things as they are.
Good, and then slowly, slowly, you're going to press, either come back on your hand, or wherever you are, and come back here. And you're going to release your legs on the side here. Good. So keep your feet as wide as your mat. And again, we're going into the Russian Reaper. Using the legs, the knees. Good. Then come back. You're going to lie down on your back. Right, we're going for a supine twist. So you can shift your hips to the left and show up your knees to the right and turn your torso to the left. Look to your left hand. Your right hand can press the knee down. And just relax here. And then slowly, slowly come back to the center. And you can shift your hips to the right, drop your knees to the left. Turn your torso to the right. Relax here. Use the cushion if you need to support your knees. Either between your knees or under the knees. Keep your eyes closed. Observe the breath.
And then slowly, slowly bring the knees back to the center. Now bring your knees to your forehead, hug your knees in. And we walk side to side. And Shavasana, final pose. So make yourself supremely comfortable. You can take the pillow and place it underneath your thighs. You can take one pillow underneath your head. If it's cold where you are, take a blanket. And make yourself very cozy. And naive, arms facing up. And close your eyes, relax your entire body. Relax your whole system. Check if your body is still tense anywhere. Notice and release. Consciously releasing every part of your body. And you can stay there in your Shavasana as long as you want. If you want to come out, start to move your toes and your fingers. Turn your head side to side. Bring your arms above your head and interlace your fingers. Stretch your whole body as if you were just waking up. Release, balance, and roll onto your right side.
and then slowly come back to a seated position. Keep your hands on top of your knee. Pay attention. Turn your palms at your heart center. We're closing with one O. Inhale deeply. Full exhale. Inhale two O. Oh. And open your eyes and look at your palms. Namaste.